in bulk solution. Many chemical reactions move painfully slowly or fail to occur at all. But when the same reactions take place inside micro droplets, tiny suspended volumes of liquid, just micrometers in size, they can suddenly speed up by orders of magnitude. Some redox processes that require catalysts or strong driving forces in flasks appear to happen spontaneously at droplet interfaces. A striking example is the unexpected formation of hydrogen peroxide from pure water micro droplets without added reagents. Doesn't it sound almost like chemistry has found a turbo mode that switches on only at small scales? The underlying mystery is what makes droplets so different from bulk. One idea is that strong electric fields form at the liquid air interface, especially if the droplet carries charge. These fields can polarize molecules, lower reaction barriers, and even generate reactive species such as radicals. Another possibility is that confinement itself reorganizes salvation shells and brings reactants together in ways impossible in bulk solution. Add to this rapid solvent evaporation and steep concentration gradients, and the droplet becomes a dynamic reaction chamber unlike any test tube. Isn't it fascinating that something as simple as shrinking the volume of water could unlock entirely new reaction pathways? The scientific debate is far from settled. Some researchers argue that the acceleration comes mainly from increased surface-to-volume ratios, where interfacial chemistry dominates. Others highlight direct evidence of electric field-driven processes, showing that droplets can act almost like miniature plasma reactors. Still others point to ultra-fast droplet evaporation, which rapidly concentrates solutes and effectively precatalyzes reactions. The fact that so many plausible mechanisms coexist shows just how rich and unexplored this frontier is. Could it be that multiple effects overlapping in space and time collectively create the observed turbo chemistry? The implications are profound. If micro droplets can drive or accelerate reactions without added reagents or extreme conditions, they could open new avenues in green chemistry. A synthesis of valuable compounds might occur more cleanly and efficiently at interfaces, reducing waste and energy costs. Microdroplet mass spectrometry has already revealed reaction products that never appear in bulk, hinting at practical applications in analytical chemistry, catalysis, and pharmaceutical discovery. Isn't it remarkable that the tiniest droplets of water may hold the key to sustainable chemical transformations? <laughs> the paradox is that droplets, which seem like miniature versions of bulk liquids, are in fact radically different reactors. They challenge long-standing assumptions about solvent behavior, reaction kinetics, and catalysis. Out of small volumes emerges accelerated chemistry, and out of transient interfaces come stable products. The open question is whether Turbo chemistry represents a new fundamental regime of chemical reactivity, or whether it is a complex interplay of well known forces amplified by confinement. Either way, the tiny world of droplets may reveal big truths about how matter reacts. Micro droplets, tiny liquid compartments ranging from micrometers to nanometers in size, have emerged as powerful environments for chemical transformations. Unlike bulk solutions, droplets provide an enormous surface-to-volume ratio that exposes a majority of molecules to interfaces. This geometry creates unique physical and chemical conditions unavailable in macroscopic beakers. Charged or neutral droplets can host fields, gradients, and confined phases that alter reaction energetics. Molecules inside droplets encounter different salvation and orientation compared to bulk conditions. These altered microenvironments lower activation barriers for otherwise sluggish reactions. Droplets thus transform chemistry into a turbocharged process. Peptide bond formation occurs in milliseconds in micro droplets, compared to hours or days in bulk solution. It is like cooking in a pressure cooker instead of an open pot. The confined environment accelerates everything. One striking feature of micro droplet chemistry is the acceleration of reactions that are nearly stagnant in bulk, reactions that crawl toward completion or never proceed at all, can increase in rate by orders of magnitude inside droplets. The unique interfacial fields and altered salvation stabilized reactive intermediates that would otherwise vanish. Confinement reduces the entropic cost of bringing molecules together. Droplets can therefore act as natural catalysts without requiring additional reagents. The turbo effect arises from this combination of geometry, energy distribution, and solvent rearrangement. This transforms slow chemistry into rapid events. Oxidation reduction reactions that are negligible in flasks proceed almost instantly in micro droplet sprays. 
It is like traffic moving freely on a narrow express lane while gridlocked on the main highway. Micro droplets often show surprising redox chemistry, where electron transfer steps proceed without external input. Reports describe the spontaneous formation of reactive species such as hydrogen peroxide, hydroxyl radicals, or solvated electrons at droplet surfaces. These processes appear to be driven by strong interfacial electric fields and uneven charge distributions. Even neutral droplets exhibit gradients that enable such spontaneous events. The surface becomes a factory for radicals and oxidants that are rare in bulk solution. This spontaneous reactivity expands the chemical possibilities of droplet systems. It challenges conventional thinking about what requires a catalyst. Pure water micro droplets can generate measurable amounts of hydrogen peroxide at their interfaces. It is like sparks forming from friction without striking a match. The key to many droplet-specific reactions lies in interfacial electric fields. At curved liquid air boundaries, charge separation creates localized fields of tens to hundreds of megavolts per meter. These fields are strong enough to polarize bonds, stabilize transition states, and promote electron transfer. Unlike uniform fields in bulk, these interfacial fields are localized and dynamic. Molecules at the surface feel forces that change their reactivity dramatically. The result is a catalytic surface that emerges simply from geometry and physics. Interfaces thus become invisible reactors in every droplet. Surface fields at water droplet interfaces are thought to drive peroxide and radical formation. It is like standing on a windy mountaintop. Forces are magnified at the edges compared to the valley below. Beyond fields, radicals generated at droplet interfaces drive unique chemistry. These highly reactive species initiate redox steps, cleave bonds, and form new ones rapidly. Radicals in bulk are short-lived, but at interfaces, they can persist long enough to alter reaction pathways. The constant regeneration of radicals sustains chemical activity. Interfacial radical chemistry explains many of the surprising spontaneous reactions observed. It also links micro-droplet chemistry to atmospheric and environmental processes. Droplets thus serve as radical-rich nanoreactors. Hydroxyl radicals formed at water droplet surfaces can oxidize organics without external oxidants. It is like sparks flying off a campfire that ignite nearby twigs before fading away. The acceleration and spontaneity of micro-droplet chemistry offer immense potential for green synthesis. Many traditional reactions require harsh conditions, strong oxidants, or long times in bulk solution. In droplets, the same reactions may proceed rapidly under mild conditions without added reagents. This drastically reduces energy and chemical waste. Micro-droplet methods therefore align with sustainable chemistry goals. They transform inefficiency into efficiency simply by exploiting interfacial physics. Droplet reactors could reshape synthetic strategies. Amid bond formation for peptides occurs in droplets without coupling agents, reducing hazardous waste. It is like harnessing wind power instead of burning fuel. The environment itself supplies the energy. Despite their potential, the mechanisms behind microdroplet acceleration remain poorly understood. Competing explanations include interfacial electric fields, unique salvation structures, rapid evaporation, and confinement effects. Experiments show that different reactions may depend on different factors. The interplay of kinetics and thermodynamics at curved interfaces is still being unraveled. This makes the field fertile ground for fundamental discovery. By mapping interfacial kinetics, researchers can bridge theory with practice. Understanding these mechanisms could reveal universal laws of confined reactivity. Studies show that peroxide formation depends on droplet size, pointing to curvature-controlled kinetics. It is like discovering that the rules of traffic change completely once you shrink the roads to tiny alleyways. Microdroplet chemistry is not confined to the lab. It also occurs in nature. In the atmosphere, clouds and aerosols host countless microdroplet reactions that shape climate and air chemistry. Biological systems also rely on compartmentalization into droplets, vesicles, and organelles where unique chemistry unfolds. Understanding these environments is crucial for predicting environmental and physiological processes. Turbochemistry may help explain mysteries of oxidative stress, pollutant degradation, and prebiotic synthesis. Droplet science therefore spans from cells to skies. Its relevance reaches far beyond green synthesis alone. Atmospheric droplets are believed to produce peroxide and radicals that affect ozone and cloud chemistry. 
it is like realizing that every raindrop is not just water, but a tiny, active chemical laboratory. The paradox of microdroplet chemistry is that reactions forbidden, slow, or energy-intensive in bulk proceed rapidly and even spontaneously in droplets. The same molecules under the same conditions behave completely differently once confined at small scales. Interfaces turn passive systems into active reactors without added catalysts. This contradicts the expectation that bulk solution provides the normal environment for chemistry. Instead, droplets reveal hidden possibilities of molecular behavior. They challenge the boundary between what is possible and impossible in reaction kinetics. Micro droplets show that scale and geometry can rewrite chemical rules. Neutral water droplets can generate oxidants spontaneously, a result unthinkable in bulk water. It is like whispering into a cave and hearing a thunderous echo. The environment amplifies what seemed too weak to matter.